So guys, welcome to episode one of the new FIFA 16 Cream Mode series with Chelsea. Today, we will be starting a new Cream Mode series. A couple of days ago, I did put up a poll and you guys did vote for the new Cream Mode series. Chelsea did win the vote. You guys can see on screen right now, Chelsea out a voted Manchester City. We had some insane numbers on the poll. So many of you guys came and voted, left your say on which team that you guys did want me to use in my new FIFA 16 crew mode. Just before we do head into today's episode, if you guys can go ahead and click that like button, can we hit 200 likes? That is all guys. It's a simple target, 200 likes for the first episode of the new FIFA 16 crew mode series here on the channel, the Chelsea crew mode. In the comment section down below let me know on plays that you want me to sign throughout this series and make sure also subscribe if you are new around here on screen right now i'm showing you guys the players that are at the club this is the default team this is the default chelsea team it's a 4-4-1-1 formation we have the likes of diego costa Cesc fabregas matic hazard pedro falcao pato who is also on the substitutes we also have courtois we've got ivanovic we have loads of young players also. Kurt Zuma, John Terry, Gary Cahill, uh, Baba. Just to name a few, we have loads of potential in this Chelsea team. Obviously, in real life, Chelsea haven't have had the best seasons. This season, Chelsea are going to finish mid-table. But previously, last season, they did win the Premier League. And the team that I do have with me at the moment, this Chelsea team, is a Premier League winning Chelsea side. Uh, a team that could definitely win the Premier League. And that is my season aim, my season objective. You guys can see that we do have a few emails here from the board. Board. League objective is to win the league title. Domestic Cup objective is to win the Domestic Cup, obviously the FA Cup, and the Capital One Cup. I want to try and go all out with this Chelsea team. We want to try and win every single piece of silverware, but most importantly, I want to win the Premier League and go as far as possible in the Champions League. Like I did say, to kick off today's episode, if you guys have any transfer suggestions for me, drop it down in the comment section down below. Just showed you guys my transfer budget. I have £70 million in the transfer budget, so make sure you take that into consideration when you are suggesting your players down below in the comment section. I have made a quick shortlist. Players like Ginta, Laporte, Marquinhos, Wendell, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Paul Pogba, Marco Verratti, and Dybala. These are players that I do want to sign throughout this season, throughout this series to be honest. But like I did say, if you guys have any players that you want me to sign, I'm still in the transfer window. I haven't recorded past the transfer window. So your comments down below in the comment section might be used for an upcoming episode of this series. Like I did say, you guys can go ahead and leave a like rating. Over 200 likes will make sure that you guys get another episode tomorrow. Make sure you also subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on, on all my social media links down below in the description, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter is all down below. And also, catch up on any other videos from myself that you may have missed here on the channel. Obviously, I am back, and it feels so good to be back uh, producing career mode content. You guys did see on screen just before, I did actually send my scout out to scout out further the players like Wendell. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. It's a player from Bayer Leverkusen, a young right back. Also, scout further Dybala to get uh, to know a bit more about his stats. I did sign him during my Leicester, Leicester City career mode. That series did come to a premature end, but I do want to sign him throughout this season. He'll be an insane signing. Also, Paul Pogba. There were a few rumors that Pogba could be going to Chelsea. Last transfer window but you guys did see on screen right there I didn't really talk about it but I have put all my young players my 17 18 and 19 year olds out on loan listing wanting those young players to go out on loan and then hopefully come back with high overalls and then hopefully using them when we do advance uh, further down this series so we are going to be playing the pre-season tournament games the pre-season tournament group stage games will be played in today's episode the Champions League objective is is to actually win the Champions League. The board want me to win every single piece of silverware, and that is actually pretty doable. 
Premier League. Yes, I do want to win the Premier League this season. This Chelsea side that I will have going into this Premier League season is going to be a very, very strong side as we will be putting in a offer for Paul Pogba for Juventus. I am thinking about uh, maybe around the 33,000, a uh, 33 million mark, sorry. 33.5 million pounds is the initial offer. I'm going to go start out small, 33.5 million pounds, and we're going to work with that to try and transfer Paul Pogba to the Chelsea Football Club. But we will be playing the first game of this series, the first game of this cream mode series, and the first game of the pre-season tournament. And I tell you what... What a game this is going to be. It's Chelsea versus Real Madrid in the first game of this series. We couldn't have uh, asked for a better way to start off this series. Couldn't have asked for a bigger bang. This series will be starting off with a bang. We will be facing Real Madrid in the first game of the series. The first game of today's episode. It's Chelsea versus Real Madrid. And I did make a few changes to my side. Begovic will be starting in goals. Ivanovic will be starting as a right back. It's Gary Cahill who will be playing alongside Mizanga as in the centre back position. Uh, Baba also has a left back. Diego Costa, Cesc Fabregas, Loftus, Cheek, Hazard. Uh, just to name a few in the starting 11 also. Let's take a look at the Real Madrid side. Quite interesting side, to be honest. Mariano will be starting as a striker. Benzema will be on the substitutes. The likes of Ronaldo, Bale, Isco, Casemiro, Modric, uh, Ramos, Caviel. It's a very strong Real Madrid side with a few changes. Really similar to my Chelsea side. We have also made a few changes for ourselves. But in the 14th minute of this game, we look to get off to the perfect start. A ball gets played through to Eden Hazard. As he plays it to Cesc Fabregas. And his shot goes straight at the goalkeeper. Having the first shot on goal in the early stages in this game. But in the 20th minute, we do turn the ball over. And Real Madrid look to hit back. The ball gets played to Isco as he takes the shot. And Begovic pulls off a save to deny Real Madrid the first goal in this game and putting Real Madrid in the league. Obviously, this is only pre-season games. Going to test out the side, trying to find the perfect formation. That is why I do play these pre-season games. Testing out the side, trying to find that perfect formation that we can use going into the Premier League season. But during stoppage time in the 45th minute, Fabregas plays the ball to Diego Costa, who takes a long shot. And he just is denied by the Real Madrid goalkeeper. Great reactions there from the opposition goalkeeper. As we push on into the later stages of this game, in the 81st minute, it's Luka Modric who does receive the ball. He plays a wide to Ronaldo, who plays a through to Benzema, who takes a big touch to get around Gary Cahill. Still going Benzema, crosses it in, Isco with the header into the top corner. And Real Madrid have hit the lead in the 83rd minute. It's Chelsea nil, Real Madrid won, and that is a fantastic goal from Real Madrid. Benzema down the wing, crossed it in, Isco with the header. And what a header that was, beating Begovic in the front post. And that is how the first game is going to end in our pre-season tournament. It's going to end in a loss, a so 1-0 loss to Real Madrid. But I tell you what, we did play quite well during this game. We did put a, a big fight against a team like Real Madrid. Real Madrid's such a strong side. I tell you what, I'll take a 1-0 loss against Real Madrid in the first game of this series. Obviously, we did want to pick up the win, but we just did not do so. We picked up a loss, but it's only a 1-0 loss against a team like Real Madrid. Pretty good performance, in my opinion. So we, we, we will be having the first training session. And for all you guys that are new here on the channel, new here to my cream mode series, this is how I do do my training in FIFA 16 cream mode. Each month, we will dedicate a certain month, a specific month, to one player when he does come to training. So the month of July, the month that we're in right now, Eden Hazard will be uh, getting trained for the month of July. And then for the month of August, we'll be pushing on into another player. So I hope you guys do understand that. For each month in this Cremate series, we'll be dedicating uh, training to one specific player. But let's jump into the second game of today's episode. And already the second game of this preseason tournament, these games are coming very, very fast. I think in one week, we're playing three games. This is the second game. I'm now starting a 4-2-2-2 formation. Traore and Pato will be starting as the strikers. Eden Hazard on the left-hand side of the pitch for this game. 
But we did receive a corner here in the eighth minute as we did have a free kick. It's Eden Hazard who's actually going to go with the cross to find John Obi Mikel with the header. And really an unlikely goal scorer, Mikel, he's gone, his header was saved from the Juventus goalkeeper. So we're coming up against Juventus in an American stadium. And I'll tell you what, in FIFA 16, I'm a huge fan of the American stadium. The MLS teams, their stadiums in FIFA 16 is absolutely incredible. And definitely the stadium that we are playing in right now, right now against Juventus, it is a spectacular stadium. But in the 48th minute, in the early stages of the second half, we have a free kick from a difficult angle. It's a Hazard who whips it in to find Nemanja Matic with the header. And his header just goes wide of the goal. Would have been a great start to the second half, but the header does go wide of the goal. But pushing on into the second half, in the 61st minute, it's Juventus who do have the ball down the wing. Asamoah goes with the cross to find Mandzukic. First time shot denied by, I think it was Begovic who did start this game. And the rebound shot is saved by Begovic again. No, it was Courtois who did start in goals. Fantastic double save there. No, it was Begovic, so I was right at the start. So Begovic with a great double save to deny Juventus a goal to put themselves 1-0 in the lead. But we're still looking for that first goal. In the 76th minute, Mikel plays it to Pedro. Now Pedro's going to play through to Ivanovic. 1-1 one -one with the goalkeeper. Save from the goalkeeper. The rebound falls to Mikel. Headers that one into the back of the net. But John Obi Mikel was offside. The linesman has called him offside. So scores are going to main. At Juventus nil, Chelsea nil, and that is how the game is going to end. The game is going to end in a nil-nil draw, but we still do have one more game, one more preseason game before we do end off today's episode. Pretty good performances. We are staying up there against the likes of Real Madrid and Juventus, playing good football to be honest. So a nil-nil draw, I will take that. But just as long as we do win our final preseason game, I really do want to win that one. As Juventus have declined my offer for Paul Pogba, 33.5 million pounds is not good enough. They want 69.5 million pounds. And Paul Pogba is a good player, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to go all out and spend all my transfer budget for Pogba. So we're going to give them, I think it was 35 million pounds, just uh, bumping up my offer by 2 million pounds. Stoke City come with a a pretty good offer to be honest 13 million pounds for Loic Remy I'm going to counter offer to 15 million pounds and could Stoke City accept that and could Remy be on his way out to Stoke City Hoffenheim come with offer for Pato uh, a striker that is 25 years of age he's a player I am interested about using so I'm going to counter offer their offer to 17 point Point five million pounds. My scout has come back, come back with a scout report about the three players that I do want to sign: Marquinhos, Jinsa, and Dybala. We're going to offer PSG fourteen point five million pounds for Marquinhos. This is a player that I used quite a bit back in FIFA 15. Haven't really used him too much in FIFA 16, and definitely a player I am interested in. Also, Jinta, you guys would know from my cream mode videos. I do let you guys know in the comment section when you are leaving your suggestions to leave me suggestions on players that I haven't really used. Jinta is a player I haven't used at all in FIFA 16 cream mode. He has the potential of an 86 overall. And yeah, let's try and go out and sign him. In crew mode, I like to use as many young players and many different players as possible. That is why I do start new crew modes with different teams because I do want to use as many players as possible in crew mode. So we do have our final final preseason game um, and it is against Columbus Crew. Yes, Columbus Crew is yet again another American team. Not another American team, but we're still playing obviously in America. That is where the preseason tournament is taking place. But we're playing American team, Columbus Crew, who aren't the strongest of teams. In the 8th minute, Diego Costa picks up a goal, actually the first goal of this series. In the 25th minute, Columbus Crew did have a chance on goal, but Courtois did start this game. I did go out with a, a very strong side for this game. The final preseason tournament game I wanted to start uh, really a very, very strong Chelsea side. In the 61st minute, Diego Costa makes his one to goal, trying to make it 2-0. His shot is saved from the goalkeeper. The rebound falls to Eden Hazard. 
and he picks up a goal. It's now 2-0 against Columbus Crew. In the 77th minute, Diego Costa does receive the ball. He played very well during this game. Plays it to Loftus-Cheek, who plays it to Cesc Fabregas. With the finesse shot, he's actually going to hit the crossbar, and the rebound fell straight to the Columbus Crew goalkeeper. Should have maybe caught that one, but he does put that one out for a corner. Resulting in that, we did have a corner, and nothing did really come from it. But before this game did end, I wanted to try and pick up another goal, maybe make a 3-0. Diego Costa is on the ball yet again. He's going to play to Pedro, who takes a touch, and Pedro is going to put that one into the back post. It's now 3-0, and it did start a 4-3-3 formation for this game. 4-3-3, false 9 formation, a formation that has worked quite a bit for me in FIFA 16, and it is the formation that I will be going with going into the Premier League season with Chelsea. I cannot wait to get the Premier League season underway. Sadly, we didn't go through to the knockout stages of the preseason tournament. We finished in third position, one point behind Juventus and Real Madrid. So we picked up a win, a draw, and a loss. And I tell you what, that loss against Real Madrid was quite tough because I really did feel like we did at least earn one point from that game. It was actually 45 million pounds that I did put in for Paul Pogba. Yet again, Juventus have declined it. So what I'm going to do is put in 50 million pounds plus Pato for Pogba. And will Juventus accept that? Let's hope so that Juventus can accept that as we will be doing another training session here with Eden Hazard like I did say the month of July will be training him we'll be training the Belgium and then the month of August we will be moving on to a new different player and he will be the player that we will be training during the month of August so Inter Milan come with a huge offer for Nemanja Matic. It's 22 million pounds, and that is a huge offer. His value is only 16 million pounds. I'm gonna bump it up to 25 million pounds. If I can squeeze out another three million pounds from Inter Milan, I will be happy and let go of Nemanja Matic. Loic Remy has been sold to Stoke City for 15 million pounds. He has departed the club to another Premier League team in Stoke City. As Dortmund have declined my offer for Jinta, they want 8.5 million pounds. We're going to give them just under with a 6.5 million pound offer. Marquinhos PSG, they want 24 million pounds. So we're going to give them yet again. We're going to try and play a bit hardball here. We're not going to give the teams exactly what they want. We're going to give them just under. When I did start off today's episode, you guys did see that I did loan list most of my young players. I did let you guys know about that. And an 18-year-old has gone out on loan. Now we are now doing the contract for Paul Pogba. Juventus have accepted the transfer for 50 million pounds plus Pato. And they have accepted that. We're now doing the contract. Let's hope that Paul Pogba does agree to it. And let's hope they can sign for the club. Also, Jinta. Will Jinta accept my contract offer? Will he be coming to Chelsea? A lot of transfers will be going through in the next episode. Remy has been sold to Stoke City. Remy has departed the club to Stoke City. Inter Milan come with another offer for Matic. Yet again, it's £22 million. And 25 million pounds is what I want. I accept this. My transfer budget goes all the way up to 107 million pounds. That is insane. Like I did say, I want a hundred. Uh, I want two. Uh, I want 25 million pounds for Nemanja Matic, and then I will be uh, happy to let him go. As PSG have accepted my offer for Marquinhos, big things are happening, guys. There is a possible. Three signings to start off the next episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, go ahead and click that like button. Drop a comment down below on players that you want me to sign. Like I did say, 200 likes will be insane and will ensure another episode tomorrow. Click subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I am back, back to producing you guys' cream-made content. I'll see you all on my next video.